Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video about MATLAB. Um, in this video um, we are going to create um, a function which uh, will help us to generate code from a simulink model. Um, if you use daily simulink and code generation maybe a small script will be very helpful in order to uh, generate code uh, from uh, a specific model. So we have here a model uh, which is empty. Um, for now we are going to make uh, just a small uh, configurations in um, configuration parameters. Okay, as you see we have a fixed step and um, the step is equal to 0 0.01 um, so basically 10 milliseconds uh, sample time okay so the stop time is uh, infinity so yeah basically this is it uh, basic configuration this needs to be done okay now let's make some um, logic here we are going to choose a constant um, okay let's make uh, a switch maybe um, okay and uh, add and maybe another um, out okay so basically the logic let's invent something so we add these numbers together and uh, if they are greater than um, zero we will output two else zero so this is uh, not uh, something complicated just a small logic here okay just to have something okay now uh, our focus ch will change to uh, have um, a small script it's not complicated but is uh, it could be a starting point for us to automate the uh, code generation process Okay, so um, let's save the model here. Yes, good. Um, okay, let's create um, a script. Um, basically, it's a function uh, called, uh, let's name it code gen. Okay, um, so uh, First, we need to specify the, the name function code gen and the input will be our system which is our model let's say okay then um, what we need to do we need to let's say open model okay um, how we open model is we call the function a built-in function open system and we give the argument as like that after this um, we need to set the target link um, the TLC uh, it's the target language compiler um, so set the TLC which uh, we will make use of the set param function which will have our um, first parameter is the model itself the second one is um, system target 
uh, file sorry so it's the sys target file um, name and then uh, we need to choose um, let's choose the um, which comes by default this one okay so basically this is all that you need to do um, if you don't have a custom uh, target link uh, target file okay um, then um, we will um, maybe uh, make another um, configurations like um, um, another um, good um, option will be to set the um, shared utils to auto uh, this means that the code uh, is um, somehow generated uh, into C file uh, and not in separate files okay um, we will again set param function here which we will use this and um, uh, we will um, set the property called uh, utility func generation so utility func uh, generation we will set it we put it to um, auto okay let's do not forget the okay then um, so far maybe we will need um, a report a report to see um, different stuff which Metworks provides but we need to um, mark this also so gen generate um, report uh, again set param the system is always the first input so we will enable the generate report um, ta -ta. generate report we will put this on uh, on okay then we will uh, set param again and um, there is some stuff that needs to be checked here like uh, include um, and include uh, hyper hyperlink um, in a report we will need this also um, okay you will see we enable this also to be able to link between to, to jump um, from our um, files reports to not one place to another okay then another option would be uh, the trace information which is like so um, generate um, trace uh, info which we will enable this like so then um, um, another options would be to um, set there are quite a few um, another three options for uh, trace information so I will just type them here uh, generate trace report um, SL enable um, then um,
generate report. And yeah. And the last one will be generate port um, eml okay this should be enough um, yeah there could be more options I, I, I agree but it should be enough to uh, to have a, a good report uh, after a code generation completes okay then um, we are closer to, to to finish so maybe now we have we could display um, something here um, like say setting config okay then um, we need to save our configurations so this is an important step save all config configurations configurations okay so we save system with a built-in function save system and sys okay then um, we generate code so generate code we just display um, code generation start started okay so like so and we call rtw so build so by calling this function we will build the model and the generate the code will be generated then um, we only need to close the system um, yeah so close the system I mean the model and uh, by calling the close system yeah like so and after this we can also display something on the console like code um, has been generated successfully maybe okay and yeah, basically that's it. Let's make a short test here. Okay, so uh, again we have the model here and um, two constants added together, a switch block. If it's great, uh, we will send forward two or zero. Okay, we will save this and run our um, code gen. And the, uh, we will call it with the name of our model, which is model in this case. Um, let's say we don't have some mistakes, but let's try it. Uh, block that doesn't have a parameter. Um, okay, let me check. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think I missed here trace. Yeah, good. So basically, uh, uh, before we run the the script, this small script, um, we need to check if our model is uh, compiling. So as you see, the model is valid and compiles. 
Okay, this is an important point. Let's try it again. Okay, so Okay. Good. So um, the code was generated. This is the report. <coughs> Okay, that was generated by enabling the uh, report uh, options, and um, yeah, you can look here. We can have a look. Um, so this is the initial the step. We don't have any output here. Okay, basically. Um, if you want to, to define something, uh, you need to to add the inputs, which are um, they are presented in another video about um, how you can use uh, the model with um, um, embedded coder for some uh, microcontrollers. So basically. Our focus was to generate code, so this is a, could be a starting point, like I said. And the files that were generated are the model C, model H, model private that H, and model types and RT, RT, RTW types. These are the most important um, uh, files that which will be used uh, for. Um, this file will be compilated in the um, in the frame if you have if you have one. Okay, so the functionality basically will be in model dot c. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And if you have some questions, um, please let me know, and we can uh, clarify. Thank you very much, and I hope. Um,